This video demonstrates how to use the duplicate IP version 4 address scanner in NetScan Tools Pro. You locate it under Manual Tools, right there, and then it's pretty simple to use. It automatically places the IP address start and end of your subnet, and in this case it's just a 192.168 subnet, so it's only 254 devices. If you had a larger subnet like a 10 dot, uh, you would probably want to adjust this, the uh, start and end because it would be too large to scan in a reasonable amount of time. So you'd want to scan the areas that you do know or expect to have devices. So it's pretty simple to use. Press this button and away it goes. It uses ARP so it scans looking for devices that reply to the IP address and it found no duplicate IPs in this case. Now we're going to run the scan again and this time we will find a duplicate IP address because I modified the database table to make it assume that the last pass had a different MAC address. So now what we see is two of the same IP address with different MAC addresses. You can right click in the results and have different selections for copying information to the clipboard or you can connect to the IP address or you can search, print, save, etc. This button right here allows you to reset everything back to the initial state which means the database table would be empty. And then when you rescan this, since we really don't have two MAC addresses using the same IP address, it would go back to showing that there were no duplicates found. But in this case we simulated it. That's how the duplicate IP4 address scanner works in NetScan Tools Pro 11.